Hey guys, welcome back. So today is another episode of Storytime Sunday, and today's story is going to be about one adventure in particular that I had with my best friend Casey. And I know for a fact that she's going to know exactly, exactly what story I'm going to talk to you guys about. To this day, it is one of the most memorable slash creepy slash unforgettable moments that I've ever had in that relationship with her. If you do not know who Casey is, then you clearly missed my last two videos in which she was a very, very prominent character in both of those videos. So I will link those two down below just to get you guys caught up, but I'll give you a quick little summary of how we met. I met her in high school, sophomore year. We became instantaneous friends, and we were so, so close for the longest time, and we were inseparable. And this adventure just so happened to happen on one of the weekends when I would always go to her house. Because no matter what weekend, no matter what happened, I always found my way at her house. And we had the best times. Like, we always found things to do. We were never bored. Because I became such good friends with Casey so quickly, and I was always at her house, I became friends with a lot of her friends in the neighborhood, most of which were guys. She had one girlfriend, and we meet the guy who is the love interest, his name is Aiden. In this video we're gonna call this guy Aiden. So Casey's love interest, whom we meet Halloween night quite a few years ago, we meet through one of her friends. And we're gonna call her... we'll call her Ashley. Why the fuck not? Ashley and Aiden are going out and we meet them on Halloween night and we were actually with a group of our own friends from school including the girl Taylor and a couple of the girls from her softball team, I think it was. And we all went around trick-or-treating that night, and it was the funnest night ever. We almost beat this bitch's ass, because we didn't like Ashley. <laughs> we, we really just, like, we literally, like, Casey's mom yelled at us. She's like, you're not fighting anybody, just stop. But we were being some hood-ass bitches. We're like, no, we're gonna fuck this bitch up. We meet Aiden that first night, because Ashley brings him over and tries to be all nice to us, but really, we all know she talks so much shit about us. We were just like, well, whatever. But... It, nothing ever like really developed until a lot further along and until one day Casey had come to me and she's like I don't know remember that kid that Ashley was dating and then we met homie night that couple of weeks ago I was like yeah she's like well I think he's kind of cute and he had me on face on MySpace and this again was when MySpace was still a thing she had the biggest crush on this kid and it was the weirdest fucking attraction ever when I tell you it was fucking weird it was like night and day but at the same time they were so different that it literally made the most perfect matchup ever. Now, the reason why I said they were like nine days was because Casey is very stable-minded. She's not crazy, she's not a lunatic. One of the first times we hung out, he told me that he was a vampire. A vampire. <laughs> and he was serious about this. <laughs> he was serious. I was like, you know what, dude? To each his own. <laughs> Different strokes paint the world, dude. So anyways, a couple weeks later, um, we're all hanging out, and it's um, me and Casey at her house, and we are, we've are we been trying to get hold of, you know, anybody to see what everyone's doing for the night. Because we wanted to go out and do something, because we didn't want to stay at home, because we didn't really have the money to go out and do anything, but we just wanted to stay home and just have a good night in. So, we were messaging people, like, what's going on in the neighborhood, who's hanging out, where, like, what's going on. One person, and his name is Ryan, we're going to call him Ryan, who it happened to be Aiden's best friend in the neighborhood, um, messaged us and said, well, Aiden's coming over. And I was going to, you know, have like a little pool get together or whatever because he had a pool in his backyard. He's like, so if you guys want to come over, you guys can just chill, whatever, and have a good time. We decided, you know, we'll go over for a couple, an hour or two, and then just chill out and whatever happens, happens. So we go over, and this is where the fuckery begins. So at this point, Aiden and Casey have been, like, mutually talking, and they've been, you know, kind of leaning towards a relationship, like a serious relationship. And it was kind of, if it wasn't a real relationship, it was known by everybody in the neighborhood that they were actually seeing each other and dating. So those two right away, you know, you know, start hugging and acting like couples. So now at this point, we, me and Casey are in the pool and another guy that we're friends with, we're going to call him Willie, shows up and he's actually best friends with Ryan, who is best friends with Aiden. So now there's f five people now hanging out, which is kind of chill. It was a nice little chill get-together at first. Eventually, though, Casey and Aiden find each other in the pool and start hugging and being cute in relationship, like, on the other side of the pool. Meanwhile, me, Willie, and Ryan are in the pool just hanging out, and then all of a sudden, Willie says, well, I can't stay too long, so I think I'm going to dip because I have a band thing to go to tomorrow in the morning. We decide to say bye to Willie. Everyone says bye to him. He leaves, and about five minutes after Willie leaves, 
Ryan says something to Aiden and they go inside. So me and Casey then gravitate towards each other back into the pool and we have our little conversation where we're talking. And we weren't really talking about anything in particular at that point. We just started like laughing and everything because she was like telling me how much she likes this kid. She really hopes that he likes her. All this kind of stuff. You know, the normal, you know, oh my god, he's so cute thing. Somehow our conversation turns onto the topic of Twilight. Now, I, Casey and I, were super super fangirl fans of the Twilight series and to this day I still am and you guys can judge me I don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck so she is having a conversation with me about how how weird it is that she's in this like relationship triangle just like Bella is she was saying that Ryan was Jacob because it had been known very well known that he had a very big crush on Casey for the longest time but she didn't like him like that and now she's ended up with Aiden, who is Edward, for in this case. So we're laughing about that. And at this point, the guys are actually making their way out at the ass end of that conversation. And the last thing we were laughing about was how Ryan was Jacob Black. Aiden gets back in the pool, takes Casey back to a little spot, and they continue a little, you know, charade over there. And we, now me and Ryan, are in the pool by ourselves. And I'm like, this could be awkward. This could be very awkward. I tried to make it not awkward, but sometimes some people take things the wrong way. Obviously something I had said had given him the idea that I was interested in him because he turns the conversation around on me and says, so who are you guys talking about? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, I don't know. I came out and you were laughing about some kid named Jigga Black. And I was like, wait, who the fuck is Jigga Black? Like, he said J-I-G-G-A Black. And all I hear is Casey, like, giggling in, on the side. And I was like, who's Jigga Black? And he's like, I don't know, you tell me. You guys were talking about him. And Casey starts dying. And then I realize, as soon as she starts laughing, who the fuck he's talking about. So at this point, me and Casey are, like, dying laughing in the pool because he keeps asking who Jigga Black was. And the more he says it, the more funny it is because of how stupid it sounds. So she's dying laughing in her corner with her boyfriend or whatever the fuck he was at that point. And I'm dying laughing by myself in my little area, my little bubble. And I don't know what triggered him to think that this was okay, but he slowly starts like to make his way towards me. And he gets close to me and puts his arm around me. So I like kind of like push away from him. And now it's become a full-fledged, like, chase in the pool. Because he's chasing me, trying to get his arms around me, and I'm running away from him because he keeps saying, I want to be Jacob Black, I want to be Jacob Black, and I'm like, who the fuck? Like, what is going on? <laughs> so at this point now, we he's been chasing me around the pool, like, relentlessly for a good, like, five to ten minutes. And I'm just like, okay, he needs to, like, stop you. Like, he's being weird now as fuck. He's creeping me out. So I was super creeped out, so I was like, to Casey, like... And for the first five minutes, she was laughing at us, like, chasing, like, him chasing me. So I decided, you know what, if you're going to do that, then I'm going to fuck up your little relationship bubble you got going on. So I cling to her back. Like, I jump on her back, and I cling to her black, her back, and I'm like, this is my Jigga Black. <laughs> and I cling to her. And he's like, oh, come on, come on, let me be Jigga Black. And I'm like, oh, uh, no. I'm like, can we please leave? And she's like, you know what, we probably should head out, it's getting late. Honestly, that night was the creepiest night ever because of how relentless he was at trying to get like to get close to me like that Like to grab onto me like Casey and Aiden were doing in the corner and they always say it's only awkward if you make it awkward He made it awkward tenfold for me It might have been the fact that those two were you know on their own that he might have thought maybe she's looking for somebody to do that with too and he might have been like okay well let me try be my luck but it just made me feel uncomfortable and it was the most Ugh, time of my life. So yeah, that was my story. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you.